Hi, welcome. Here's my stump. You're in my kitchen. My name is Susan Bookser Lahaki, and that's Susan Bookser Lahaki with a hyphen. I'm running for president of the United States with you, the Green Party. Uh, thanks for having me. It's nice to be here. So I'm uh, dressed like a suffragette. This is what women were wearing when they were marching for women's rights a uh, hundred years ago. And um, I'm celebrating because it is our 100 year anniversary year of women's rights to vote, of the passing of the 19th Amendment and having it go into effect. So um, congratulations to us women. We get to vote and thank you gentlemen Okay, not you, all, all you gentlemen, but your fathers or, or your grandfathers certainly voted for us to have that right. So it's great that we have it. I'm really happy, but I'm still marching for women and women's rights, and that's why I'm wearing also this costume. But I'm also celebrating every day this year that we can vote. Now, uh, I tried to do this without reading, but it seems to go smoother when I do. So. First, let me start by saying um, I'm passionate about being a woman, a mother, a wife, and a volunteer. I'm a doer. Uh, I was born a third child in a Polish Catholic middle class Republican American household, daughter of a US military father. I was born on Travis Air Force Base in California in 1965. During the civil rights movement, the second wave of feminism, a man on the moon, the Vietnam and Cold Wars. I lived all over the US, including two years on Guam. And uh, yeah, it, so from Guam, USA to Rochester, New York, uh, then it was my teenage years. I had braces, snowstorms, horses, boys, MTV, and high school. I achieved a hundred percent on my math regions final in ninth grade and I took AP art classes for the last two years of high school. I used to do the swim uh, for cancer for the Cancer Society for Lengths for Lives and also UNICEF collections at Halloween. Um, actually the Lengths for Lives was not the Cancer Society that was the, I think the MS Society. Then um, I was a Girl Scout, an art club uh, member. I started and, and uh, led an Alateen group, and then I was also briefly in the math club. I received scholastic art mentions and awards over the years for my artwork. Um, so finally, then I went off to New York City, and I studied at Parsons School of Design, and I graduated in 1988 with a BFA in illustration. Then the struggling years began and I had crushing student loan debt that I couldn't get out of. I worked extra at Pizzeria Uno and even while going to Parsons, I was in the uh, work study program, but it was not enough. And um, also working at, at uh, Pizzeria Uno, there was no affordable health care at the time. Eventually to survive, I had to get into banking and I, uh, passed my Series 7 and 63, and I used that to advance it in banking in my career. Uh, I used to, when I lived in New York, do walking volunteer horseback riding tours in Prospect Park in Brooklyn, and I used to do the uh, New York City bike tours for multiple sclerosis. Today, I live uh, in Zurich right now, and sometimes in New York or all over the U.S. Um, I've been here for 20 plus years. I got married uh, to a nice Swiss man. His name is Christoph and I have a, we have a daughter together. Her name is Jessie and we're here together with our two dogs, Penelope and Minnie Mouse. Uh, so being a mother was not easy for me. Uh, Jessie is our second child. Our first child, Kai, died of a major heart defect after living only one day. And then when Jessie was three, she got childhood leukemia. And after treatment and um, remission, it came back again at the age of seven. So we spent about a total of six years over the years at the Children's Hospital in Zurich. 
I'm proud to say that today Jessie is 18 and uh, she is studying to be a pediatric nurse through the apprenticeship program that they have here in Switzerland. And I know the U.S. has an apprenticeship program. I would like to uh, make it more prominent. I don't think we're utilizing it as good as we can. And here I've seen how good an apprenticeship program can be. So that's, that's my speech there. Anyways, um, I am a living Dadaist, a humanist, an activist for women's rights, and a spokesperson, and a peace promoter, a past vice president of events for the American Women's Club of Zurich, a past president Unitarian Universalist of Basel, Currently, I'm a business owner, a, the co-director of the Unitarian Universalist of Zurich and founder, um, with a co-founder. Uh, we're trying to get it off the ground, but it's uh, things are a bit crazy at the moment, as you know, with the coronavirus and everything. And I'm a Green Party presidential candidate. So um, I just want to touch briefly on my U.S. tour that I did back in February and March. I, um, I went around to check out the infrastructure and uh, see how the mass transit system was working, the buses and the trains and everything together. Um, and uh, I was surprised at uh, some places and disappointed in others. Then I uh, met up with some Green Party people, participated in a few presidential forums and primaries, which was, this is all new to me, being a politician and doing all this, so it's been uh, quite a learning experience and, and fun and frustrating at the same time. Uh, I met Americans, US uh, Americans of all different social levels, so it was really interesting. One of my favorite uh, meetings was with the Navajo Nation, and I um, had a nice chat with uh, somebody working at the uh, Capitol there. It was really, really, good to learn about the Native American issues. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy I did that. Then I had also attended Susan B. Anthony's 200-year uh, birthday celebration, uh, which was wonderful. I, I'm named after her, Susan. So, you know, it's, it's kind of, yeah, 200 years ago she was born. A great American. Then I visited various uh, Unitarian Universalist uh, congregations and I participated in the FEC uh, San Antonio Conference. I also was at the NBA uh, All-Star Weekend in Chicago where I went to the Equality Lounge, which is a great organization that hosts a lot of speakers and interesting events for, um, uh, that has a focus on equality, bringing uh, men and women to an equal level. They're doing good stuff. I really had a great time. Um, yeah. Uh, earlier this year, I was also in Davos, Switzerland, at the World Economic Forum, where again, um, I went to various things to hear what the world is, is talking about, the main issues, and I, I attended some inter, something called Interfaith Alliance, uh, Polish House, again, the Equality Lounge was there, and something called Caspian Week. So that's um, sort of what I was doing earlier this year then you want to know maybe what I'm sort of interested in. Uh, I like the fact that the Green Party is not afraid to put a woman on the ballot, and that's one of the main reasons why I'm with you. Uh, I also find ecology, you know, uh, we have to stop uh, polluting the planet, and um, the coronavirus is actually helping with that. I don't know if you've noticed some of the news that's come out, but it's, it's quite impressive. Uh, Nature is, is healing, so uh, we're, by staying home, we're doing a lot of good. We're saving lives, we're slowing the spread, the, you know, we're flattening the curve, and um, yeah, we're saving the planet all at the same time. And I don't know if you heard, but um, this is the first march that happened since 2003 that there wasn't a school shooting. So this is really, really good. I'm so happy for the, the our students because that is one thing, you know, when you go to school, you don't go thinking, oh, am I going to get shot today? And you shouldn't have to. You should be thinking, oh, what am I going to learn today? I'm so excited. So some of my things are about uh, schooling and uh, guns and um, 
Yeah, so peace matters, green ways matter, women's work matters, equality matters, respect matters, equal opportunity matters, families matter, quality of life matters, education matters, um, no more school shootings matter, uh, women matter, and um, clean water matters. And that's something that the Native Americans don't all have, and perhaps some of you don't have, I don't know. So uh, I'm going to say that's the end of my speech. I am prepared to talk about whatever you want to talk about, so please contact me or contact the people you're supposed to contact before contacting me. Um, again, there's my little piece of paper. I'm Susan Boxer Lahaki, and thank you for listening. I wish you all a good day.